This is Garrett Black, my second cousin, and a typical little boy. Uh, loves to fish, hunt, do our, yeah, Scott, Scott, yeah, God's in that too, right? And, uh, yeah, and I said yesterday, Moon is a striped rattlesnake. It just, you know, typical little boy doing what he's supposed to do. But he was tragically killed on March 14th, 2011. And uh, it was a devastating time for our family because he was on a school bus that my cousin drove. And uh, she was going to the bus barn to let him off to go to his mom. And... Um, just like any other day, this was not, you know, any day out of the ordinary. It was, it was something that was done every day. He was going to his mom, Kim, and um, he, he started to get off the bus, and there shouldn't have been another bus coming into the bus bar, but there was, and as soon as Garrett stepped off the bus, my cousin Susan, that was driving the bus, she looked in the, the mirror, and she saw another bus coming. So I went around to the front of the bus and she was, she was hollering at him. She said, Garrett, stop, stop. And he just looked at her and smiled and walked into the path of that bus. And he lived for about a minute. And, um, but I know, I believe this with all my heart. When he turned around and smiled at her, I believe he was already in the presence of God. I believe that with everything in me. But it was devastating for my family. And for his mom that had to come out there and see her baby on that. And it was devastating for my cousin that let him off of the bus. Yeah. So, God has blessed me so much to be able to heal my healing through putting words down for songs. And um, I did that when my daddy was so sick. My daddy's been in heaven for 10 years, but... My daddy was good material for songwriting because he was sick for so long, but that's how God let me heal. And uh, I went to Kim after I wrote the song, and I wanted her to make sure that it was okay because it was about Garrett. And I asked her, I said, Kim, how do you get through every day? I can't imagine. Cannot even let my mind go there. How do you get through it? And she said, well, it's just God. She said, I take one day at a time. Every day is new mercies and new grace. And uh, I said, do you ever feel bitter? Are you, are you unforgiving to the lady that ran over him? Do you, do you, are you mad at Susan for letting him off of the bus? She said, no. She said, that's not an option. And I thought to myself, an option. Because it is an option to be unforgiving. It is an option to be bitter. It's your choice. You don't have to be that way. I don't know what it's like to lose a child. And those of you that have, God love you. And God wrap his arms around you. But I do know what it's like to be bitter for years. Being in an abusive marriage. I wished that that man would walk in front of a train going 80 miles an hour. And I would have said, good riddance. And he's not saved. To this day, he's still not saved. And I'm not talking about Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I do know what it's like to be bitter for years and to have hate in my heart. I hated that man. He was abusive to me. He was abusive to my son. And I hated him. So God started dealing with me on that. And I, I won't go into it like I did yesterday, but how do you get rid of the bitterness? How do you get rid of the unforgiveness? You start praying for those people. God told me, you got to start praying for him. And I said, I'm not praying for him. He don't deserve my prayers. He said, you got to pray for him. And I said, God, I don't want to pray for him. He just kept on, kept on. God always wins. He ain't going to leave you alone. Pray for him. And I said, well, I'm going to pray for him, but I ain't going to mean it. <laughs> 
And he said, well, that's a start. So I started praying for him. And when I started really praying for him, I started seeing him through God's eyes. And he showed me. He said, honey, Jesus didn't die only for you. He died for him too. And now, praise God, now I only have compassion for that man. God removed that bitterness. He removed that unforgiveness. And I know there's a lot of you here today that have been through the same thing. You told me. You told me yesterday. But you can live a life without bitterness and out, without unforgiveness. You can live that life and have peace. But this song is a song that God gave to me in honor of Garrett. Faith one again. A tragic death has left a grieving mother, cold and weak. Her little boy was taken from her unexpectedly. She could have shut the world out, turned her back on God and life. Instead, she ran into the cross and why Jesus died? Faith one again. His love is stronger than the pain. In a world that's filled with darkness, His light and peace remain. Instead of being bitter, I choose to be blessed. on Jesus and let faith win again. The day had come for Jesus to hold a Calvary. Three crosses standing closely, three men in agony. The other turned away. Jesus died for both men there, but just one of them was saved. Faith one again. His love is stronger than the pain. The world is filled with darkness. His light and peace. Instead of being bitter, I choose to be blessed. I'll keep my eyes on Jesus and let faith win It's trusting. 